I was still wearing my pajamas and I didn't want to go out, out like that. And somebody just knocked at my door and it was Melissa. She brought me a very strong coffee, black, delicious. Ella no habla español. She don't Pero speak es Spanish. Que, es lo que nos but her love that she shows is what allow us to be in a purpose, to be united. When the love of God is the one that breaks every barrier. barrier. Como mujer, me encanta arreglarme. Y As a woman, I like to take care of myself. <laughs> and I forgot my shadows. Uh -huh. And Melissa come also with a gift from me, it was a shadows. She come to the room with a shadow for me, a palette. Ella no lo sabe. She didn't no know I forgot my makeup. I even pequeña. didn't realize that I forgot it. This little thing that God. looks so little, no, that we limite. look because it's God the one that's answering you constantly in the little details and the big things. Después, este, After, when I was Enseñando Before I wanted to teach about the seven magnificent of the unity of unity of purposes, I was reviewing that teaching and looking at it. That teaching is, was done from Charlie. It's a great teaching that Charlie did. If you guys didn't listen before, just take the time. It's a great teaching. And my daughter Elizabeth told me, I said, Mommy, are you going to teach again that? Charlie already teach that so many times. <laughs> And I was like, Mom, I think you can teach something different. And I was like, well, I don't have my material here. I don't have my concord and my interlinear, my encyclopedias in Spanish. What am I going to teach? I have those three great teachers next to me sitting. So you have to think about what to teach to them. <laughs> but you know what? That's come to my mind. Teach what they do have done, teach it to you. Yo aquí a Here, I learned how to look at you guys working as a team, to serve, to love, to hug, to kiss. Yo recuerdo la primera vez que I remember aquí. the first time that I came in the year 1975. And that is so alive in my heart. That Joy when we came here, people woke up, giving a hug. It doesn't matter, it was a man or a woman, they give me a kiss in my mouth. And that is the holiness of the love. And sometimes we lose that. So many you can do for people with a hug. A lot of people is dying because they don't have hugs. And we can do that because we have the biggest love in the world. Here's my teaching, and the title of my, the, my teaching is Who I Am. In 1 Corinthians 2 4, dice, Y ni mi palabra ni mi presentación. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words de humana sabiduría, of man's, sino con demostración of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and the power. Nosotros somos ministros competentes we are competent ministers because we have a tool that is powerful. Tu palabra, God no gave us his word, not the man's wisdom. Is God with us and His power? Ahora bien, a nosotros, now, una and that we have a responsibility, we can look in First Corinthians for two. Tengan los dos hombres por servidores de Cristo y administradores. First Corinthians four one. It says, "Hold on, I don't have the verse." Servidores de Cristo y administradores. First Corinthians 4 1. Be service and step work. How wonderful it is to be able to do this job. But to do this job, you require something. Vamos a primera Corinthians 4. Let's go to First Corinthians 4 2. Mommy. And fishing my number. Okay. 
Y les voy a decir una cosa. Ayer, I something. yesterday when I was reading the letter, el logo, oh, el nombre y el logo del ministerio. El logo and the name of the ministry. No tengo ninguna duda. I have no doubts. Yeah, uh, this is what I'm supposed to teach today. It says. You guys have heard this so many times. It says. Now. First Corinthians 4.1. Now one is required in First Corinthians 4 2. Moreover, is required in his words that a man be found how faithful. And I was reading the letter from the log logo. It says, El nombre del ministerio fiel of the ministry of faithful in Christ. Es uno que representa tanto It's nuestra one that represents also our stations of a practice. Dios desea que todos los God creyentes sean desire that all the believers are faithful. Primero a él, first y luego you, a nosotros. And then first to God and then to our Lord Jesus Christ. Y luego a la palabra and correctamente. To the God who are rightly divided. That is in this letter. Eso está aquí. Eh, yo nunca había This entendido. El, para mí, no tengo, I never no, knew about the logo. To me, it didn't have a meaning. But aquí, now that I read this explanation, no, I think that is an excellent work, no, Mari. God bless you for that because it's expressing no, God's heart in this logo. The unit of purpose with men and women no, no, faithful. No, and that's no, one of the requirements that God is asking us as well, ministers. And it's not so, difficult. Being faithful is not difficult because we are being faithful to God. And God is wonderful. God answered to us. God talked to us. God has a special job for every single one of us. So how we can do this? How we can do it? A define. Let's read Ephesians 2.20. Edificado sobre el fundamento de los apóstoles. This is our built up on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Siendo la principal piedra de la Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. En primera de Pedro 12. In first, first Peter 2.6. Por lo cual también contiene la escritura lo siguiente. Aquí, it says, wherefore no also la... it is contained in the scripture. La principal piedra del ángulo. I lay in Zion of Chief Cornerstone, a left precious. Y el que creyere en And él no he that believe on him shall not be confounded. Esto es maravilloso. Cuando This nosotros is wonderful. Podemos ver una When we can look at construction of building, I was looking at a big building with 700 levels. Con la Everything is going to start with this cornerstone. ¿Cómo se va a a this el cornerstone to get the foundation, how it's going to be built the building. Y nosotros podemos tener la mejor construcción. We can have the better building because we have somebody that we can imitate as Jesus Aquí Christ. Seguir. To si follow. Follow. If we're building in this foundation, in this cornerstone, we're going to have no a break from building. It's not going to be taken down. Y para, para entender todas estas cosas, to be able to understand all those things is very important. Que nosotros podamos conocer las cualidades de Dios. That us can know the quality of the God that we have. I'm going to be telling you why. First, let's look at these qualities. Or the bueno de Dios. Or the good of God. First Timothy 1.17. Por tanto, al rey de los siglos. Now unto the king eternal, immortal. Invisible. Invisible. Al único y sabio Dios. Only wise God. Sea honor y gloria de los honor hijos. and glory forever and ever. Amen. Look at all these characteristics that this wonderful God. Eterno, immortal, invisible, all knowledge. 
Vamos a seguir conociendo a este Dios en Romanos. Let's keep looking at no es, about this dice, God. Let's look at Romans 120. Porque las cosas invisibles de él. For the invisible things of him God, from the creation of the world. Se hacen y claramente clearly seen. De la del mundo. Being understood, understood by the things that are made. Siendo entendidas por medio de las cosas hechas. Even his Dios eternal Dios. power and God heard so that they are without excuse. Dios nos decía en la operación. God de la was telling us in the heart of the manifestation today that his life. En primera de Juan 1, 5, Let's dice, look at 1 John 1.5. 1 John 1.5 says, this then is the message with what we have Dios heard of him. And declaring to you that God is light. How good is this? Y que no hay and his skin is not darkness at all. Lo de esto es que es la luz la que saca the biggest la of this is that the light is the one that can take darkness away. Si we want liberty and freedom, we have to live the light. Vamos, aquí este me encanta. Primera Juan 4. And I love this one verse. Let's go to 1 John 4, 8. 1 John 4, 8. A la gente no le gusta este versículo. People doesn't Porque like this verse. Because decir que todo people el mundo want to say él. that everyone loves God. Pero dice. But this says. And they got the no window ama, this. No he that loves not. No, not God because. For God is love. El amor de Dios lo the love of God is ours when we confess Romans 10, 9, 10. It's part of the package that we receive. El amor es el gran motivador para the hacer love cosas. is the grand motivation to do things. El amor es el que nos permite the estar love aquí is the one that allows us to be sitting right here today. Es el que nos a the love is, no is the one that allows us, no matter the language, language if it's Chinese, Indian, or what we speak, that we can still love each other. That we can have functions in the body and work together. Which one is your function? Are you developing that function? For me, it was very hard. Very hard. To work alone. I was 45 years working with a man, very impressive man. But you Dios know what? God has put the potential on me. He has given me no the wisdom. Not just to be no able to be the president of the church, but also to help other countries that are working in unity for purpose with us. Qué bueno ha sido Dios How good has been God with me. Por la I changed the sadness for the hope. Y yo creo que estoy viviendo los momentos and I más think I live in the, the more difficult time of Pero my country situation, no but the grande. more difficult are the problems in Venezuela, the bigger God is being for us. Por el amor a Dios. For the love of God, because we love Vamos God. Aquí. Let's keep reading. Es importante conocer todas estas virtudes Why is it important to know all those virtues from God? Tenemos que because we have to remember this constantly. Porque Cuando nos vamos al mundo, because when we go to the world, nos the world nos is going to consume you, it's going to try to steal you, and it's going to try to steal your thought. Claro, but if you are clear to who you believe, you're going to have, you're going to be empower yourself, you're going to be no strong. It's not going to be divisions, because the divisions la start la la gente. with the personalities of the people. Aquí cada uno es único. Here, no everyone is unique. We don't have a copy. Y cada uno fue llamado and para every single one of have a call física. for a specific function. And you know what? Ninguno es más importante que otro. None of us is more important than the other. Y todos son necesarios. And we all are uh, needed. Yo no le puedo decir al I cannot tell you to directo. this little, I cannot tell the little uh, finger of my hand. Me ayuda a mantener el equilibrio. Why? Because he helped me to have the balance in my hand. Entonces, nunca permitamos que then, don't let nothing or adversity trying to divide ourselves from the, 
de este amor caliente logo tierno, says, vivo que you know this reunión. fire that is warm is alive that we have in the home fellowship y tenemos que luchar con el tiempo and we have to fight with the time because the time is still in us nos está robando el tiempo It's de Dios el tiempo de the time that we're supposed to be given to God for have amor. communion to be sharing one to another to love one to another and hug each other Ustedes todavía pueden llegar aquí sin problema. You guys pueden still can come here with us. Or, you know, just go and stop in the gas station and get gas. In Venezuela, you are not Tenemos able to do that. We have Pero a lot of Dios things uh, against to uh, but God is bigger than any uh, problem. Y se lo he dicho a Charlie, Charlie y yo And this is something that I was uh, told Charlie before we speak a lot together. And I want Charlie to remember all this. Is, everything I am today, I learning with all you guys here in the United States. And that is recording in my heart. My first ambassador program was in 1975. 11 people from three different countries were working as a one ambassador passman. That's how I started my movement from that war. And not everything that happened in the past was bad. I can remember a lot of wonderful things that happened in the past. Vamos, por favor, a Primera Corintios 15. Let's 20. go to First Corinthians. First Corinthians, verse 15, verse 15, verse 27, 28. First Corinthians 15, 27, 28. For he had put all things under his feet. Y esto es muy importante conocer And this is very important to know this difference. Porque todas las cosas las sujetó debajo de sus pies. Y cuando dice que todas las cosas han sido sujetadas a él. But when he says all teeth are put under him. Hay algo que Dios quiere aclarar. Claramente se sujetó a aquel que sujetó todas las cosas. It is manifested that he accepted which did put all things under him. 28. Pero luego. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, para que that Dios God may be all in all. When we can look that God is powerful, we can also see that God is less powerful than power no, that Jesus is less powerful than God. When we can see that God is less powerful than God, that Jesus is less powerful than God. When we can see that God is light, Jesus is the light of the world. We can see that God is love. Jesus loves with the love of God. God is the word and Jesus is the revealer word. Como resultado, nosotros result, en Efesios 3:19, we can see in Ephesians 3:19. This is the result, Ephesians 3:19. Y de conocer el amor de and Cristo, and you know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that para qué? ye might be why, why, for why, for para what, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Nosotros estamos totalmente completos. We are completely no complete. Nada. We are not lacking nothing. Colosenses 2, 9, 9 dice. Colossians 2, 9, 9. La vida Colossians 2, 9. La For in him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Tenemos todo para usar. We have everything to be used. Tenemos una familia maravillosa. We have a wonderful family. Quiero hacerles una pregunta. I want to ask you something. Son of you is perfect. You can raise your hand. No. 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 No somos perfectos. No. We are not perfect. But when we are in universe, doing the work that God has us, we are perfect. We want to live in the integrity of God's word. We are perfect. Because it's God's word that is doing the job. Estamos completos. We are complete. We have all the tools. We can walk in love as one body. Each one of us doing their functions, your job. We are unique. We are unique. 
Somos líderes, somos coherentes. We are leaders, we are consistent. En lo que decimos y hacemos, atención. We say and what we do. Very attention to this. Voy a creer a cualquier hombre que sea coherente. I'm going to believe que lo que he diga lo hace. Consistent with what he says and what he does. Porque por sus frutos los conocen. Because for their fruit, you're going to know them. Okay. Nosotros tenemos todo para trabajar en We have everything to work very efficiently. En nuestra función, habilidad y capacidad en nuestra función. In our functions, well. abilities and capacities within the body. This is something wonderful. Y para terminar, quiero and terminar. to finish. Con dos versículos. Uno I want to read ayer. two verses. One that was read by Sheila yesterday. That we have todo to take those things, everything that is real, honest, amable, just todo lo buen nombre. Todo that has si a good name, alguna, if hay. there's any virtues hay. in this, and they are in there, si hay algo digno de alabanza, if it's something, si en esto uh, pensar. in this think, algo digno de alabanza, en esto pensar. something dignified for our pra praises, sorry. La otra and the other, that we can do, the other thing Pablo that we can do. Una. Paul says that he says one thing. Just one thing. Pero que dos. But involves two actions. Dice, olvidando he says, lo que queda atrás. forgetting El mundo everything that is in the past. The word teaches no that you can forget the, the past. De, de, that de you pasado. cannot live in the, in the success in the past. Y dice, olvidando and he says, ciertamente forgetting lo que queda atrás. Certainly, what is in the past? And what I, do. I forget and I go forward. I send myself to whatever is in front of me. That is our goal. What is the goal? The supreme call in Christ Jesus. God bless you all. I love you. <laughs> all right, I like. It. Make it available for anybody to share something about that that may have blessed them or a way of making a comment or something like that. So, is there anyone who'd like to do that? And if you do, raise your hands if you're on Zoom. Anybody here? John? The idea that we can put the past behind us is a, well, for me, it is a, sometimes a difficult thing because the, the past is in my brain and it, it wants to rise up. But the idea that we can, and she mentioned about pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. And the next verse is, let us therefore as many as be perfect, which she mentioned, is anybody perfect in here, raise your hand. <laughs> but I think that word means fully mature or something similar to that, that we've exercised our, our we're disciplined our lives so that we can press toward the mark when the past arises. And uh, the idea that we are able to do that um, she talked about it being the fruit in our life will prove that we've become mature because we produce the fruit that the word says will produce. And when we, when we do that, others will see that it's an evidence. Like if, if we go to a botanical garden at this time of the year and we see the springs coming alive here, it's beautiful. And we see life and we see things and it, it's attractive. And when we become those perfect or mature believers, we see that in one another. And I believe that that's what this gathering is part about, that we don't see each other all the time. But when we do see each other, we see fruit being produced in one another's lives that we're growing more and more to the perfect man. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very blessed, uh, much of a blessing for me to be here this evening. Wonderful. Uh, Lillian is always such a blessing either uh, to see her uh, in a video uh, and especially in person and um, the love that just pours out of her and it's so obvious that uh, love is what is energizing the work there and 
I don't know if y'all ever feel this way, but sometimes you, I think, gosh, you know, I'll have these thoughts and I think I'm supposed to be so much more loving than that. And what came through to me in what she taught is that, you know, we aren't tapping into our own love. We're tapping into the love of Jesus Christ in us. And so, you know, we can always have these thoughts, oh boy, you know, how can I love this person or, you know, this or that, or, or my, my, my love seems to be failing. But um, we're empowered and it's always there. And that's, that's what um, you communicated to me this morning. And uh, Steve had something after you finish with uh, Joanne. Yeah, I'm reminded too that uh, if it's all one, unity of spirit among our body, we are actually glorifying God by walking in love with each other. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing about comparing each other. It's all about um, if we're mature and we're going forward, it's actually a going forward to the upward calling. It's not on the plane mm -hmm. of this world. Um, it just helps me see us be together and <coughs> locked in unity together. Happy in here. Yeah, the teaching really blessed me and uh, the same thing that everyone else already said. But uh, another thing was how they were all able to give and bless one another. Just that, that thought that we're all members in particular, we have what it takes to take care of one another. And we all have something special that we can give to one another. And I thought that was tremendous what she said about that. So it wasn't necessarily what she taught, but uh, something that she said that really caught my attention. And, and I've heard her I always get choked up. I heard her say this before, and it made me think about several of you here in this room. <clears throat> Let me take my breath. After Juan fell asleep, how it was so hard for her to carry on without him. And yet she's doing it. She's doing a great job. And I see, you know, there's there's a couple of you, two or three of you in here. I know that have gone through that, and yet you're here. You're standing, you're carrying on. You didn't quit. You know, some of us aren't there. Maybe someday we'll be in that same position. But the point is, is that you've set examples for us. And that's what I see in Lalian, John, Marty. Those are the ones that I know of right off the top of my head. But just so blessed to see you that you are carrying on the legacy that you had with your spouses and carrying on the word and pastor along. So anyway, that's what blessed me. I see your time, I'll get to you there. Uh, what struck me was, um, her going, going to Ephesians 2.20 about that we are built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Uh, just the, the legacy of that, you know, that, that that's our foundation, that that's our foundation. And, and at, at breakfast, Marty was, I hope you don't mind me saying this, Marty was, you know what I'm going to say. Marty um, said that her grandmother's house was built on cinder block. And so it was unstable and, and eventually it had to be torn down. Uh, so that, that's not a good foundation, right? But we have the foundation of the, of the apostles and the prophets. And that, that um, I, I hope someday people say that about that, that they, that our children and our grandchildren have the foundation of their parents and their grandparents, mm -hmm. that, that we have that legacy that we, can be passing on, and, and it's so important to think about that now, of our legacy for the future. Yeah. Okay, Tom Kelso, would you unmute yourself? Yeah, um, 
what I heard was also related to the uh, forgetting those things which are before and pressing towards the mark of the high calling. I was thinking that was the Apostle Paul who said that. Uh, I've always understood that verse to mean uh, not to condemn yourself about all your past failures, but press towards just keep moving forward. But um, what I understood this morning is that it's not only forgetting your past failures, but it's also not resting on your laurels of, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I've done so much in the past that uh, I've already got my place secure in heaven. Um, we, it's no time to rest. We need to focus on the mark of the prize of the high calling. Keep focusing on the Bema, that we're not finished yet. Uh, we still have a lot to do. And we need to forget the past and keep keep moving towards the, because there's so many, the, the fields are ripe for, with harvest. Um, there are so many people out there that are hungry and thirsting for righteousness. And God's not done with us yet. We still have much, much to do. And that's what I got out of the teaching this morning. Well, then you got a lot. <laughs> I was talking to Laylee in the other how did they end up in reality she's able to do more ministering in venezuela being here than she was able to do there because of the internet uh, being more secure here and she had you know we we think that we're doing god a great service if we teach once a week you know work on it all week long she had four teachings that she was doing that week so she is uh, very actively doing her ministry. And I knew that that would be the case when she came here. So thank you, Lalian. I love you and appreciate everything that you do. So that means Lalian's going to be a permanent fixture here? We can only hope. Uh, what we are believing for Lalian to be able to do is to... Uh, get a green card, which would give her access to come and go from this country back to Venezuela as she has need. So uh, if you'll believe with that, for that uh, with us, that would be a wonderful thing. All right, let's take a 15 minute break and we'll be back in 15 minutes to uh, start talking about uh, some of the things that are happening in the other countries. We're gonna have the folks that are on uh, share a little bit about each of their work and what they're doing. Okay, 15 minutes. If, could you just double check and make sure all of you are on mute? Just double, double check and make sure I'm getting some notes saying that some of you are not on mute and there's feedback on the folks for Zoom. So please double, double check and make sure you're on mute. If you're not sure, get somebody to help you. I haven't even joined the audience. Yeah. That's probably okay. Yeah. As <laughs> yeah, she, I was gonna say she knows her. She knows her stuff. Let's, let's ask one of the IT guys. Hey, John. I'll go down to John. Yeah, go Perfect. see if. Okay. Great idea. Thank go you. see if John Saunders, because I don't. I never yeah. use my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey, John, uh, Mike, Mike, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, according to my screen, we got Aldo Gonzalez is not on mute. Jeff Winley is not on mute. John Saunders is not on mute. Laylee and Cabrera is not on mute. And let me turn the page here and see if I got anybody else. Some of them don't have the audio. audio. Some of them oh, actually don't have audio on, and so it doesn't show up as mute because they're not on their audio. Okay. So, because I can see the screen, I see what you're talking about, Kenny. It, it looks like they're not on mute, but they actually didn't turn the audio on at all. And she's not there. So like, can I tell you what's going on? It's because for people that are on Zoom when they talk, then they keep, they get the the what they what is coming out of the speaker when Charlie's. Um, it's unmuted. So if anybody on there is going to talk, Charlie needs to mute so they can hear it through there. But then, so we can hear it here without any feedback. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm not sure uh, if he mutes because he's running the sound through his computer. If he mutes, I'm it just mutes his audio, like while he speaks. So that wouldn't cause any problem. That's what I was telling him during lately and speaking because they would hear the echoing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. of her and him and Elizabeth. So we would have could have been perfect if we just heard Liz talking. So if you move, it doesn't affect the sound because you're still hearing what is that? Got it. Okay. So we're, yeah, this is good. We're learning all this. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Oh, we're all uh, Thank <laughs> you. 